All right, very good. Uh, so let us look today into the conjunctions of consonants. This is our final uh, lesson for writing. You will have to write these conjunctions by yourself. You choose all possible combinations. Uh, I will give you the principles today, principles. So according to this uh, scheme, there are six, seven major principles of these conjunctions. Mm, they are very easy to remember, very easy to use, though they look very sophisticated because you're not yet settled with the writing, but once you're settled with the writing, there is nothing easier than these conjunctions. Whenever we have danda letter with danda, I start again from zero. A letter with this stick, it is here shown, for example, ta. So we take t plus ka, so the stick is dropped always. So t plus ka becomes tka without uh, uh, a horizontal line. Can you see it? Yeah, so instead of uh, this line here with the uh, viram, you can write always with viram together. You can write t viram ka. In under one line, and it will be tka. But it is. Yeah, I'm getting mixed up. I'm getting mixed up between vertical line and horizontal line. Sorry. Danda said... is vertical line. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, I said horizontal. Oh my God, I yeah. just slipped my tongue. No, horizontal, vertical line. I mean this line. Right. Sorry. Yes. Uh, I made a mistake. It's somehow my mind goes somewhere, and then. It, tongue is not listening to it <laughs> doing something else so so here this horizontal line goes oh phew, vertical line goes and uh, and then we have a two without uh, uh, vertical line uh, joining directly to ka ka remains unchanged notice second letter is always unchanged always never changed. You see, ka, bha, ya, everywhere. Ka, bha, ya, ma. But the first one which joins drops its danda. So everywhere. T dropped its danda became tka. M dropped its danda became mbha. You see? V dropped its danda became vya. S dropped its danda and, uh, and became sma. It's, there are many more combinations, hundreds of these combinations are possible where danda is dropped. Hmm? Always the same procedure, easy. So when you see such a combination, you see, ah, here was s. So you read s very well, you read v very well, m well, t well, it's visible. Second principle, when we don't have Letters, letters without danda, um, like tu or ku or du or du or uh, any other letter. So you can see the combination will be that they will be written one under the other. Tu ta, ta, or ka, or du da, uh, or da. They are written uh, one under the other. D plus va, dva, even this particular, yeah, see? So next letter with danda, but the first without. So it will take it under itself. Uh, dia is exception. Ya behaves always differently. I was mentioning already. Uh, ya always does something strange. So it always kind of offers this hand to join with the previous letter. So it will be this type. Yeah. Ulrike, hi. I see you. I see you in Avatar. Okay. Um, these two major um, principles, the rest follows with exceptions, with all kinds of varieties, but these two major principles have to be remembered. Hmm. When we have combinations with ra, it is very different. Uh, Vladimir, can you repeat the second principle? 
The second principle the second is uh, letters are written it. under one another when they don't have danda, always below. You see two letters, ta and ta next to it. When neither letter has a danda. Yeah, ni, or even if someone has danda, but not the first one. If the first one has no danda, then the second one will be written under it. You see, dva. Va has a danda. Okay. Du doesn't. Yeah. Right. So this the is, first letter is written under the second letter. R yeah. The second r letter is written under the first one, always. Right. Okay. So the, the hierarchy is from top to bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Dia is exception. You have to remember it as uh, something unique. And then uh, with the Ra, we have uh, combinations which are always uh, have to be remembered separately. So when we add Ra to any letter, we will have this strange sign here on this direction, in this direction. Yeah. Uh, eight o'clock. Uh, so to say. So this eight o'clock or seven o'clock, some uh, seven thirty, <laughs> would be ra. D plus ra, dra. M plus ra, mra. K plus ra, kra. T plus ra, tra. Sometimes it is written in this way, tra. So it is not, t is not totally finished. So it is only this. This we have to remember separately because it's difficult to understand. Um, S plus ra sra, h plus ra ra can be in both ways. It can be written inside h or outside h in the normal way. Yeah, these are the principles. But when we have R plus K or any other letter, then R, when R is first, uh, is written over in this particular half moon. So we have R K, R V, R Y. Hmm? So the previous was uh, here, then Dra, Mra, Kra, and here we have R K, R V. Ria. So R is very specific. It doesn't fit into any of these pictures. Yes. Uh, so we have to learn R separately. Uh, uh, ha behaves also uh, in a unique way because it's a unique letter, as you see. Uh, so H plus Ya, Ya. Here Ya behaves in a particular manner, as always. Uh, giving its hand for conjunction, kind of uh, extending its hand and joining the hands with the previous letter. You see, uh, hu, and from here, ya. Uh, hu plus ma, the same way, ma joins here with uh, hu. Hva, va is written inside ha, you see. It's kind of underneath hu, but it is inside. Or it can be also written outside sometimes. Below va, ha, here. I didn't write it, but it can be met. Or hu plus na, na is written inside ha. You see, this is a na cerebral. Or hu plus ra, ra, I already was showing this. Rare conjunctions are, which we have to learn separately. There are few of them, only few. For example, Jnya. Jnya, J plus Jnya becomes this Jnya sign. You cannot figure out why it came to mean, why it was written in this way. It's an abbreviation. Uh, ksha also. In this way, K plus Sha gives this Ksha letter. So Jnya, Ksha, Tra and Kta, these four we have to remember separately. The rest follow the rules. Only these four are exceptions. Uh, here I am giving more, more elaborate conjunctions of, with three and more letters. For example, stra. You can see s element, ta element, and ra. Yeah? 
с т ра с т ра стра к т ра к тра д д ва два д плюс я дя where ya is extending its hand to to join ahana hai and and ka this particular but this is below written below do you understand now the principles this is it yeah uh, we can learn these i will send you oh, actually they are all there for you to write for example k plus ta kta or this way kta 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 k plus ya kya you can write them many times k plus ra kra k plus ya kya g plus ma gma g plus ya gya danda is gone g plus ra gra ra is written always in this way n plus ka it has no danda so ka will be written below n ka n plus ga n doesn't have danda so n plus ga will be ga ga below n plus kta n doesn't have danda so and kta is conjunction already but still it is written below n kta the principles are clear ch plus cha uh cha you see how it is written all this way cha because either danda drops and this is a normal procedure the law ch drops danda and becomes cha or it is written even below on one danda ch plus cha drops danda cha j plus ja ja drops danda ne plus cha ncha or this ncha drops danda these uh, conjunctions you will meet very often you will see them immediately without any problem once you know the principles uh, i continue two plus start ta it can be written in this way you see i'm showing here in the brackets that to viram ta when we put viram it means that there is no a it is only t yeah t plus ta here ta here t t ta t ta here it is t ta or this way t plus ta t ta d plus da d da d plus ya d ya or even this way d ya or even this way dia so dia even this way you can meet sometimes but it's very rare rather this way first one extending its hand but this will be no exception dia because d doesn't have danda so it will take a letter underneath of itself so you see this is a correct it's according to the rule dia but this one is according to ya preference to extend its hand and this is without any preference with viram do ya and even this you can meet in the printed text now ne cerebral plus d or dha da dha da dha so you can see the danda is dropped only of ne so the rest follows t plus ka ma ya ra tka tma tya tra d plus da d da d plus ba ya ra ma dva dya dra dma n plus na ma ya ra ta da na nma nya nra nta nda everywhere danda is dropped notice except nra ra is always written here the rest is according to the rule p plus pa ma ya ra pa ma pya pra p 
price exception or really is going here. Otherwise, Dante is dropped. P plus ya ra ka. Pya pra pka. These combinations are rather rare, but pya you can meet and pra also. B plus ya ra bha ma. Bya bra bha bma. So the danda goes. B plus ya ra ma. Bhya bhra bhma. Danda goes. M danda goes. Mya mra mda mva. Ra. Ra plus any letter always on the top. Rka, rgar, tha, artar, thar, var, tha. Rya, sorry, the last one. But there are also few things here. It is sh plus ra gives shra. Either this shra or this shra. This one, the second one is normal, but the first one is a, a new sign for us. So sh is written in this way, shra. And when we write Shri Aravinda or Shri Mirambika, we have Shri Krishna or Shri, uh, Shri Shri Ravi Shankar, then we will have to use this Shri sign with a long E. Now here I give several combinations. Su, su plus ta, and whatever letter, danda goes, sta, sma, sya, sra, ska. Who plus either of these? Ya, ma. Who plus va, ba, na, na writes them inside. Hva, hva, na, na. Two plus, now the combination of more than one, three and more. Tu, su, n, tsna can be written in this way, the danda goes of tu, danda goes of su, and na remains. Tu sna, tsna. Or that can be in this way written, tu danda goes, but su accommodates na underneath. Oh. Very nice. Young Youngsters also have to learn. <laughs> Right, uh, and then uh, r plus t plus s plus na, tsna remains, but r tsna, no, notice, r t s n. <clears throat> so when the r is written under these ensemble of different consonants, it is first, it is read first always. That which is higher is read first. <laughs> Rtsna, all this way, rtsna. Jnya plus ya, jnya. Kshi plus ma, or whatever, kshma, kshva, kshya, danda goes. So this is basically it. There is no more to, to look into. Is it possible for you to, to understand this? Is it difficult? Can you give some comments or something? No, no, understanding is okay. Practice will be another thing. Right, right. Well, when, since we will be reading now in Devanagari, the practice will be more than enough for you. Yeah. yeah. So it One will... suggestion, you could, if you would be able to write these sheets in color, with one color for the first uh, letter and another color for the second, then you could see more clearly how the combination is made. Right, but, uh, good idea. We'll manage. Yeah. Uh, I can show you also in a very nice manner how these things are done. Here, look. This, uh, this what I was telling you, that you have to use this program for writing. So, for example, if I take, I click on auto convert, so you will immediately see. So, what combination would you like? K, you see K with Dan, uh, with, uh, da, uh, with uh, Viram. Oh. So K plus oh. what? What letter would you want next? Sh, sh. Sh, yeah? Yeah. Sha. you see K, sh? Sha. Sha. Oh. Uh, oh. You want uh, some, uh, if I separate these two, I will have this K, sh, you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But if I combine wow. them, it's immediately this, you see? Wow. Yes. It's very easy. Uh, you do that three? Huh? Three, you were telling us? Three. three. Yes. Yeah, just three window. Yeah. Three. Yeah. You see? I separate three and three. Sh and three. Uh -huh. Three. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Any any other combination? K plus ya, yeah, kya. Yeah. Uh, D plus da, dva. You see? Uh, D plus dva, d dva. Three letters. Uh, I even want kartsnya. Kartsnya. Look at this. This is the biggest number of combinations you ha have in Sanskrit language. Five letters together. Kartsnya means uh, all. Kritsna means totality. Kartsnya belongs to the whole. Yeah, this is the, the biggest number, five. Otherwise, you have much less. This is the only word actually where you have five combination of five consonants. The only in Sanskrit language. Mm. But it is even readable. T is readable, C is readable, N. Even it made it funny combination here, kind of stylish. You see it it fit this N there in the uh, yeah. mm -hmm. if I separate them now you will see one by one. You see, mm. you see, ya. So, ding, kart, and karts, and then karts, and then ya, karts, ya. Vladimir? Yes. Could you send the. the um, Link for the for the conversion program or the yeah. information about it. I did. I did send you. It oh. is there. You can download it from uh, from the file. Is it not there? It should be there. Okay. If it is not there, I will make it because it might be that it was too early for us. Uh, yes. But I was. Yeah. I will make it. Yes. I will send you the link definitely. Mm. All right. Uh, what else? What combinations would you like? Uh, Krishna, you see Krishna, mm. no, Krishna. So Shna, the combination of Sh and Na, cerebral. You see, Krishna, Danda goes. Mm. You want uh, Vishnu, Vishnu, and again Sh and Nu. You see Sh. And no, thunder goes. Uh, what else is there combined? Um, kta, for example. You see how it does? Uh, kta, k plus ta, kta. It's, this kta has to be learned. It's a separate thing you cannot recognize. Jnya. Uh, yeah, I forgot how to write Jnana yeah, Vitamint. I don't have it here. Jnana, yeah. oh, here it is. Jnana yeah, is written with this uh, sign which I cannot find on my computer because I have Norwegian keyboard. J plus Jnana, Jnana, you see? This last letter is sometimes also a letter in the alphabet, no? Some people consider it part of the alphabet. Right, because they, 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 we do not have them uh, separately. And then the kta, isn't it the aspired k, k, k? Sorry. The, the kta is also, has to be remembered. These few have to be remembered. Kta, jnya, ksha. Yeah, these. And maybe even if you want, you can do also shra. Because they are not cognizable in terms of letters. Ptajnya 
and tra also tra these these five you remember and there will be no problem they are not totally cognizable kta dnia ksha shra and tra not totally cognizable partially the rest is following the rules we can try with ha it's kind of interesting what ha will does i will give us hova you see hova h plus va hova h plus ma ma h ma ma h plus ra you see it wrote it in h plus ra ra h plus na 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 Uh, yeah, with the yeah also interesting. How it extends his hand. Yeah. But if we have more difficult combinations, uh, there sometimes would be uh, they will do over the ram, for example, do. Oh, sorry. Uh, do plus uh, da. Da would be this, and uh, dva. You see, when we have such a difficult one, then do dva would be too long. So the first one will stay with the uh, with viram, and the rest one will be joined. So you can write with viram. So it's very interesting. You can have this program and play with it and see how the combinations are done and learn from it. Yeah? Meaningful? Brahma. Could you do the Brahma? Brahma, yes. And Brahma is here, you see already. So Bravi is clear for us. Bra. And then we have Hama. Brahma. This is Brahma. Um, Brahma as a spirit. Uh, Brahma has many different meanings. You know, Brahman, uh, usually the word is Brahman. Yeah? The Pratipadika form. But in the Nuta, it is becoming Brahman. And in the masculine, it becomes Brahma. And uh, and there is also a word which means, so we have several words, Brahma, uh, Brahma, and um, a few more words uh, from here, Brahmana, uh, and uh, Brahmanaha, that means masculine gender, sorry, uh, Brahmana and Brahmanam. So, uh, to explain the difference between all these Brahmans, Brahma, first one is the spirit or mantra. Uh, yeah, the Brahma is the Veda, the word, uh, and later it becomes the spirit, the spirit which is rising from the heart. Then Brahma, is the creator, the one who creates in the masculine gender, Brahman. He is the creator of the universe. And Brahmanaha is the Varna which, uh, to which Brahmanas belong. Yeah? Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra. So Brahmanas are Varna. And Brahmanam is the commentary on the Veda in uh, uh, Nuta. In when with ending with the commentary, Shatapatha Brahmanam, or 
Taitiriya Brahmanam. So it is that which is Brahmanic explanation. So you see all these from the root. Brih. Root is brih to grow. Oops. Brih. To become vast and strong and expand, to grow, to extend one's being. All right. Okay, very nice. So today we are finishing our uh, writing lessons and next time on Monday, I think on Monday is our meeting on Tuesday. Wait a minute. We are meeting on Tuesday or on Monday? Monday we meet. Monday. Yeah. Uh, on Monday we will have our first lesson of uh, grammar. Hurrah! We begin to study <laughs> language. No more writing. Uh, we will be practicing our writing through learning grammar. So please use this opportunity this weekend to strengthen your writing skills. If you want to send me some of your uh, writings, please make a uh, um, print out or what you scan, scan them and send to me, I will check on them. Uh, it would be very good if you do it, that if you do something wrong, then uh, I can help you at the beginning that you will not learn it in a wrong way because we will write a lot. But we will use also this printing uh, way of you will be sending to me by typing. First by writing and then by typing. Do you have any questions? Yes, Vladimir. I don't understand. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. Ah, I don't understand the last one that you the brih, the root of Brahman. How? Brih. Yeah, I don't understand when you are writing and also the I. I don't see the I in the in the Vanagari. Where did it go, the I? This ri, uh, ri to write uh, vowel ri, okay. you have to write ri. two, this is the way to write it. Yeah? Okay, got it. Uh, okay. So we have to learn to write it in a proper way. If you can't do it, suppose you don't know how to type it, there is uh, information here, you can find the whole set, how to type it. But you, okay. can, you can click also on this and see the insert. Yeah. Uh, hmm. how you can insert suppose I you will need the re so you click on the re here and you will have it yeah. for example here I will do re first I click on the re and it will do either this or this there are two ways of doing re uh, okay. re and then I will type she re she he to have a word yeah? okay so this re would be difficult a bit to type. You have to find it in the system. Okay. We call it ligatures, this combination of consonants. You see here they are also given. You can see them. Yes, with sh, one more thing uh, to finish with good that I looked into it. Uh, if I take sh, uh, sh ra, yes, we saw. But I take any other, shna, for example. You see? Uh, shwa, it does these strange things. So it, uh, it is present with this sh in a different way, not in a normal way. Um, but both, both of them, both. You need both. Sha, for example. You will see this type. Sha. Hmm. And if I do Shia, for example, this would be like this. Shia. All right. Uh, so that's basically it. For the combination. Yeah, I'm sending you the program. If I didn't, even if I didn't, I will send you again. So you will be able to see it and use those papers which I uh, sent to you. 
to principally work out the combinations. So that's basically it for today. We can do some uh, chanting, some reading, some repetition of what we already did before, if you want. <laughs> Another technical question. Yes. <clears throat> Raising my arm or finger. Um, to record the meeting, do you, do you record all the meetings? Yes. To resource to them? Or? Yes. Super did it so far. Just um, you can look at it uh, at the end. Uh, it's it's very it's all there, which is waiting for you in the uh, special file I created for you. Uh, okay. You have a file. Because right. mm -hmm. soon I'm also going to do it from Germany. In two weeks I'm going to Germany, so I have to get really nicely independent from Rupert right. for this time. Yeah, you're going to Germany. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, from Germany, there will be also very good connection, but it's already so much better. You see, from when I'm from Norway, yeah. we have such a so much better connection. So here we have our Sanskrit. Uh, oh, it's not that. Sorry, it's grammar. Uh, Sanskrit plus, and in Sanskrit plus we have our group. Okay. And in our group we have video lessons. And Devanagari, all the files for Devanagari, which you have to write, uh, and combinations. But here we have video lessons. And in these video lessons, we have already five lessons. The first one was not recorded when we met. So I'm putting the numbers because it's important for me to know how many times we met. It's very easy also for me to control the, the numbers of meetings to know how far we developed with how many meetings. So here I will put number six, lesson number six. That means for six time we met. And we will start a new set of meetings from studying grammar. Uh, well, this doesn't fit into our sixth lesson, I'm sorry, because this was about writing. It is not fitting here, but I will put it here under specific term writing. Yes, it's not our meeting on grammar. It's on writing. It was additional to our studies. Yeah. I will look again into this, whether you have this. Uh, you have only fonts. You don't have, sorry, you see, you don't have this program. I will put it here for you and you would download it for yourself and install it and it will be able to use it, to play with it, to see how it. But I recommend you write first. No? Don't, don't uh, use only the program, write with the hand. It's more important. Mm -hmm. And writing is more important than... Uh, uh, definitely, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, we come back to our Basics. A mantra, yes. Uh, and mantra also, but I want to first to run maybe a basics. Oh, we will better we do it on mantra. We don't need basics anymore. Uh, mantra is somewhere, I don't remember where it is. Uh, say it a minute. So many things open. Oh, it was mantra. Okay. Let us do uh, two mantras, once this and then once that. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Pita. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Mritam Gamaya Mrityorma Mritam Gamaya What I want you to do for the next time, you write these mantras, all these, mm, there are four mantras in Sanskrit. You have uh, uh, these in a transliteration and you write them in Sanskrit. Yes. Uh, it is a good uh, thing to do. Yeah? So 
you can now combine words uh, into the syllables. Maybe we need to meet with you once more for the writing. I think we have to meet once more. And I will send you a homework for writing, not only mantras, but words. Words and simple sentences that you will be able to write. Once you do that writing, which I send you homework, you please uh, photocopy it or uh, scan it and send it to me, okay? Um, I will write you in such a way that everything will be written in one under the other, that you can print the page and write next to it if you want. Yeah, that should be visible what you have to write. And then you photocopy it or scan it and send it to me for checking. This would be our final test. And these mantras. Okay, once more. Om. Uh, yes, uh, Ulrike. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya. Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya. Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya. Mrityor Mamritam Gamaya. Mrityor Mamritam Gamaya. Uh, Mila. Om Asatoma Sad Gamaya. Asatoma Sad Gamaya. Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya. Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya. Mrityor Mamritam Gamaya. Mrityor Mamritam Gamaya. Very nice. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Mila. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. Sarve Santu Niramaya. Sarve Santu Niramaya. Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu. Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Ma Kaschit Dukha Bhag Bhavet Ma Kaschit Dukha Bhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 Ulrike Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu. Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu. Ma Kaschit. Ma Kaschit. Dukha Bhag Bhavet. Dukha Bhag Bhavet. Shanti 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 Peter Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya. Sarve Santu Niramaya. Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu. Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu. Ma Kaschit Dukha Bhag Bhavet. Ma Kaschit Dukha Bhag Bhavet. Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti Shanti Sh
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Okay, friends, I will send you the homework to write. And uh, please do this uh, scanning and sending to me for feedback. Yeah. All right, Thank so you. all the best and see you then on Monday. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.